Maybe y'all should make me some macaroni without the eggs one time. Okay, okay. It's no difference, because macaroni with eggs is like eggs. Macaroni without eggs is like eggs. No. <laughs> so they believe it, let them see it, let them see you. Sheard Kelly and I'm excited it's YouTube and I want to thank y'all for subscribing so make sure you click the notifications button like and subscribe what they y'all do y'all live amen whatever I look silly doing it but I want to say hey and hopefully you all are enjoying the new content so Ryan she sent me a pizza dip I love tomatoes so this is perfect the only problem is is that I keep getting breads and pastas. And that's why the juice is happening. It's, it's moving, amen? Something's moving, something's shaking. Keep it going. Okay, so we're gonna make some pizza dip and I'm excited. Shout out to Cooking with Destiny. Um, I'm about to copy you, girl. I'm gonna see if I can do it. So. These are not, um, they're gourmet, but they're not dishes that I thought of myself. This is me trying stuff. And hopefully you're leaving with something to do. Some, if you can't cook, maybe you, you got it here. Amen? All right. So let's try it. This is pizza dip. All we're doing is layering. It's very easy. And I think I start with the cheese. So let me tell you what I got. I'm adding in some diced tomatoes, because y'all know I like tomatoes. So I got the cheese, we got the garlic bread, we got pepperonis, we got ragu, parmesan cheese. That's a lot of cheese, that's a lot of mucus. That's why we be having colds and stuff, because all this mucus from the cow, amen. All right, but we gonna still eat it, that's the problem. That's not the problem, enjoy it! Okay, so we got the pack two, what is this? Cream cheese, mo cheese! How many of you, Love cheese. See what I'm saying? Oh, y'all, okay, so I know, let me have fun. Y'all know we were excited to see Rihanna at this Indian wedding. Well, some of us. And it blessed me when Sister Rihanna said, how many of you are in love or something like that? I said, that baby is around somebody who been in church. She said, how many of you? So how many of you enjoy cheese, amen? So we're gonna do the cheeses. It looks like we have just about all of the cheeses except Gouda. And then we're gonna do pepperoni and then we have oregano and what is this? Basil. Okay, let's do it. So I got my bread in already. This my, y'all know my Wolfgang Puck. I didn't even start the, uh, the same thing. So I don't put no butter on here. I don't think we put butter. Oh Lord, okay. So let's do it. So we're gonna spread this. What kind of tool should I use? Okay, so am I putting the whole thing in there? Just holler at me, Ross. Ooh, we are gonna use two of them. And I think, I think Destiny, she spreaded it. But it was like, I'm, it. Did you just see me bend my spoon? We supposed to turn it off, put everything in the pot, Use this one too. That's a lot of cream cheese. It's gonna be good too. So you know, those of us that do keto, the cool thing is cheese can be your scapegoat because it's just protein. So you can do all of that cheese and you don't go, you don't increase in carbs or sugars. It's some sugar in there though. Oh, uh, that's why we can eat so much cheese. Cause there ain't no sugar in there. It's one gram of uh, one gram of carbs. Lord, so God is in the cheese. Obviously, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And He gave us cheese for those of us that need to watch our carbs. And you can have as much as that on your thing. So this is keto friendly if we didn't have the bread. 
So if you want to have an alternative, if you're on keto, are y'all doing keto anymore? I think that's always a go-to. I think you gotta melt it just a little bit. So let's put it on low, cause it's not moving. Mm-mm, this ain't right, cause that's bending my spoon. <laughs> y'all gonna laugh at me. I want you to zoom in on my spoon, what, what it done did, okay? So let's try this. That ain't neat either. So we're gonna spread this. I probably should've used a smaller skillet, but I guarantee you that in the end it's gonna come together. So be not dismayed. Don't get weary and well doing, cause we doing well. It look wrong, but it's gonna turn, ah! It's gonna turn out right! Yes, it will. So I'm a, I got some questions, y'all, just to have fun. But I just wanted to encourage somebody. So you know how if you are around people and if you're not careful, sometimes the enemy will use people that's close to you to speak to your confidence. And because you're so close to them, it just might get to you. You may just start believing and considering what they saying. And sometimes, so the Lord's been dealing with me on self-regulating my emotions so that I'm not spazzing out because the Lord dealt with me a while ago, like you've got something to lose. So you can't just act out, you know, like, you know, you can't just, you know how mama used to say, you can't do what everybody else do. Did your mama ever say, did your mama tell y'all that before? You can't do it. Okay. I just wanted to make sure it, it was a universal thing. So I'm saying that to say, if I can't do what everybody else do, then I got to make sure that I don't respond by what has been normalized in today's society or culture. So the Lord was telling me, he said, you got to get control of that. And it's a part of the fruit of the spirit. It's a part of patience. It's a part of, and what we say, patience is a virtue. So if it's a virtue and we trying to be a virtuous woman or you trying to be a man of valor, then I got to make sure I'm pushing out virtue. And a part of my virtuous character is self-regulation. So I've been working on that. So let me, hold on, let me stop talking for one second so I can figure this out. Cause this ain't, I don't think, my destiny, I'm gonna have to have you on the show. Cause this, I'm not doing what you was doing since you was killing it. I mean, she killed it. But you know what? I think I should have used a smaller pan. Because this look this look like Chloe did it. One of the things I was saying was I gotta make sure that I don't let, because remember too, we believe the the law. It's, I believe it's a law. It's a principle. The Bible says it's power of life and death in your tongue. So I gotta be careful of who I'm allowing to speak in my life. So if you need to walk away, don't you feel bad about that. And I know I've said these kinds of things before, but it just happened to me this week and I said, you know what, I gotta, I gotta remove myself. So if that's your way of self-regulating and composing yourself or keeping yourself composed because you know your threshold, then you just gotta do what you gotta do. Because at the end of the day, I'm trying to produce virtue. What does virtue mean? That's a good question. Can one of y'all look up virtue? What does virtue mean? Behavior showing high, thank you. Behavior showing high morals or standards. And the Bible talks about a virtuous woman. So people saying that, oh, she too high in this and that. Now I understand too when people be like, oh my gosh, she's over the top, high and mighty, like, you know, the whole holier than thou thing. I get that. But if the Bible is saying I'm supposed to possess high morals and standards, then I, sometimes I may be, I may be unreachable. Ooh, that's, that sounds some kind of way, but it is what it is. I'm so sorry. So I just wanted to encourage somebody because it's just so much that we should consider. Okay, we put in our what we do, we put in our cream cheese, we put in our oregano, we put in our bay leaves. She used actual fresh bay leaves. Then it says to use the ragu. So this is where I'm gonna add in my little twist. So basically it's almost like we are doing lasagna and pizza. So let's see. Now I feel like I need another spoon. 
But the other thing I was telling y'all was it's important too, because my friend blessed me the other day because I was venting and just kind of sharing what was said to me. And they were just like, well, we not gonna do that because you already said that's what you, you, you preach about it, you talk about it. So we're not even going to give it too much of your time or your energy or even your conscience because you're feeding off of it at some point. And when they said it, I was just like, oh, dang. That makes a lot of sense. And here I am already considering the negative things that were said about me out of an angry moment, but from someone who lacked the self-discipline and the virtue to regulate themselves in what was released from a moment of emotionalism. So I just, I wanted to share that with y'all. I like to share my personal experiences and encourage people because I know that I'm not the only one that goes through it. I feel like we go through stuff for each other. But so what? And the crazy thing is, is I have probably talked somebody else off of a cliff from this kind of experience and probably encourage them, and here I am back in the same boat. You see how the doggone devil works? I'm so sick of him. I'm so, I, you know, I'm so tired of him. Okay, so I put my cheese, I put, that was the mozzarella cheese, and then I'm gonna put the pepperoni. I think I'm doing all right. We just gotta see what that bottom gonna turn like. Okay, what's my question, Ty? Okay. What is on your playlist, favorite dish to cook, least favorite thing to do at the moment? What's on my playlist? I was just listening to KCS, Finally Karen, Unconditional Love. Um, what else is on my playlist? Um, you know, I'm, I'm a weird listener or connoisseur of music because the other day I was listening to Victoria Monet and I don't just have a playlist. Somebody just sent me a playlist the other day. I asked them for it. Um, I don't know who it was. But I love, put that on my mama, on my hood. I look fly, I look good. You can't touch my bag, you can't touch my swag. Wish you could. Oh, money long. How I go? Nobody knows me like you do, nobody. But when she did that on the Soul Train Awards, I was like, this song is a hit. If, if I was an a and I would be a good one. So praying for me. Okay, what's the next question? Favorite dish to cook? Favorite dish to cook? I don't have a favorite dish to cook. I'm proud when I cook lasagna. Is that simple? No, I'm proud when I... Macaroni. They talk about me and my macaroni. Should I include? What? Who should I include all of y'all, or is it just rye? Wait a minute. What? What else? No more money in me. Who said? Who said you ain't supposed to use eggs? We all said that. Why are you using eggs and macaroni? But we ate your macaroni. Do y'all use eggs in y'all macaroni? No. So they said no eggs in the macaroni. But macaroni is my favorite dish. I gotta taste it, so maybe y'all should make me some macaroni without the eggs one time. Okay, okay. It's no difference, because macaroni with eggs is like eggs. Macaroni without eggs is like eggs. No, macaroni <laughs> with the eggs tastes like eggs and cheese, but without the egg, it tastes like milky cheese. Okay, great perspective. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it with the sour cream sometimes. Know. Okay. But we got you. We should have a mac and cheese bake off. Okay. Let's do it, cause I love my mac and cheese. Okay, what's the next one? Well, comment below and let us know, do you use eggs or no eggs? So I, and I sat at the table the other day at a baby shower and I was with some OGs. And I was like, do you use eggs in your mac? Majority of the table, at this table this time, said they use eggs. And then there were a few that said that they don't use eggs. So I'm interested in knowing, is that a southern thing or is that a midwest thing? Gotta be midwest, cause they- well, I know some people from the south that do it, but not mother. You midwest, right, Jazz? I'm, mm, no. Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania? What is it? <laughs> um, I don't know if it's midwest or is it just north. I mean, are you in Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania, that's not east coast? It's certain parts of it. Oh. And am I saying it wrong? Mm-hmm, it's Pennsylvania. 
Europe saying Ania. Pennsylvania? It's not Bania, it's Pennsylvania. So I'm just overpronouncing the syllables? Yeah. Okay. I'm saying it the same though. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Pennsylvania. Thank you, I stand to be corrected, yeah. Pennsylvanian. Yeah. Okay, but you spell it how I sounded it out? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Pennsylvanian, I mean Pennsylvania, you just running it together. Okay, what's the next question? Least favorite thing to do at the moment. Least favorite thing to do at the moment is to argue. I don't feel, I don't feel like arguing. I'm sleepy. Um, that's it. What's another one? What's y'all like? What's y'all least favorite thing to do? Probably least favorite thing is to cook because I've been asking for a meal for. Oh, I just wanted to say, I, I obviously cook for them because I cook. We made up fifty years. You cook so, one time. So the reason I don't want to cook for them anymore is because they did not eat their food. And that, I mean, who wants to cook for someone who seems like you don't really want their food? Please comment below. Comment below! So what's the next question? Where have you been recently that has been most engaging? Where have I been that has been most engaging? Who's been hyping you up the most? Giving you oh, what the vibes. City? Yeah, what city? Oh. Uh, I, you know, I, I haven't really been anywhere because <laughs> because of Chloe Drew, but I guess the East Coast and the South always hot me up, so, but I haven't been nowhere. I've been to New York and that was like a quick, that was a TV trip, so, you know, we were in the studio. So I'll give it to New York, because they was outside and they, we got pictures, so New York, okay. And that's one of my, like my favorite cities. A video that never gets old. Oh, it's so many. In the beninging. In the beninging. In the beninging. What's one of my videos? Do do up in here. <laughs> yes, we we're gonna play it too. I'm gonna send y'all a clip so you can see it. When that old man was talking about, I don't like old man. When the OG was talking about big behinds, and he said, uh, he he said something like, I don't know why y'all like these big booties. It ain't nothing but do do up in there. You think the bigger the booty, the finer it is. And now we can convince her she walks switching that big old booty and all that. It ain't nothing but doo-doo in there. <laughs> that blesses me, I'm sorry. Um, because that's interesting. Okay, what's the next one? Favorite artist right now? I've been listening to Dawkins and Dawkins. I don't know why. Dawkins and Dawkins and Jay Moss. Like, I just, I've been listening to them. They're timeless. And I just, I honor them. I respect them. They are amazing. That dog on Eric Dawkins just can sing a scale and write songs. Like, it just seems like he just do it in his sleep. And then Jay, the same way. They just, I just wish I could sing like that. So, for now, those are they. Who do you want to do a collaboration with? That's a good question. Um... I think I want to do a collaboration with Miss Cece Winans. Yes. Thank you. That. Yes, me too. Um, I want to do some more songs with my mommy. I, I think I want to do an EP, but like, it's something I want to do with my mommy. Um, did you say you said I haven't worked with before, or just period? Okay. Miss Cece, mommy, I want to do something again with mommy. Um, it's a lot of um, artists like just on Instagram and TikTok that I've just been following. And I think they're just like independent artists. It's a few of them, I, I can't think of the name. So on the next one, I'll give y'all that. But Michael Buble, Lucky Day. Who is somebody else that I've been saying that I like? Can I say somebody? Who? Jasmine Sullivan. Oh, I love jazz. I think- Brandy? Yes. Yeah. I would cry so hard. I think, ja I mean, of course, we call Brandy the vocal Bible. It's like a whole generation that just, we sounded like her, including myself. It was certain ending runs we was doing just to sound like Brandy, B-Rocka. And Jasmine is just, Jasmine is one of my favorite singers. She's crazy. I think you'll be a vibe with Samoa too. Oh, Samoa, I love Samoa. Oh, I love him. Yeah, and he's just such a good guy. Okay, so that was, a, that was a good question. Um, what are you looking forward to in the next five years? That's a good question. I'll probably be moving. Um, 
new music and I have prayed over this music and I think it's gonna be something very different. Um, it's some stuff on my vision board that I, that's a secret and I, I see them, so you will see them too. In the next five years. Let me tell y'all something. I went to a school one time, it was me and my mom, and I think I was like 10 or 19. And the guy was younger than me, but he was dressed up like an old man and he caught himself prophesying. He just walked up to me and said, he said, in five years, you're gonna be a reverend. I said, a oh, what? He said, a reverend. You're going in five years. He kept saying, in five years. And then before we left, he said, in five years, you're going to be a reverend. And I said, a oh, what? I kept saying, oh, what? <laughs> a what? A reverend? You want me to be a reverend? But he was true. He was honest. Okay, what's the next question? Five things on your bucket list. Five years. Okay. <laughs> five things on my bucket list. I see myself jumping out of a plane, you know, doing the skydiving thing, but... I don't think that I will ever do that. So it's on my bucket list, but it looks like it's muted. Um, on my bucket list, I want to go to Fiji, and I want to stay in one of the, um, the hotels on the water. Yeah, I'll stop there. Oh, you said five. I, I guess I'm more simple than I think. Um, a talk show. A talk show, a talk show with longevity. It's so much that I want to do that I'm, I don't want to release this yet. I don't want to put it out there. What did you dislike as a kid that you love now? I dislike, don't beat me up, it's my truth. I dislike DC, but now that I go, I love DC. Yeah. Now, I don't know how to say this, but let me say. You want oh, me to see it? I, okay, can, no. I can say it. I can say it. Say it. Wait, if I pronounce it, she's. Right, that's why I said, let me see it. I'll see. Right. You want to go over there, Shay? I got it. It's on. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's super, super, super califragilistic expiala dishes. No, it's dosis. No, it's heavy. Supercalifragilistic expialidocious. So it's just one word. Thank you. Okay, we done. Thank you, Bright Tie and Jazz. Aren't they so sweet? They are the. You are the sunshine in my life. Ooh. Okay, you want to see how it looks? I don't think this is right. Let's see. Let's, oh, I didn't burn the bread, Lord Jesus. Okay, not so bad. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna cut a piece. Throw some of this stuff away. What's five things on your bucket list? Anybody, go. I wanna go to Tokyo. Oh, Tokyo is fun. You love it, okay. Okay, right. I either wanna, oh, you know I gotta come closer. I either, I either wanna be on a Broadway play or win a Grammy. Do you? Well, baby, you gotta break out of these nerves. Amen. Amen. That's amazing. And what's on your bucket list? I do not have a bucket list. <laughs> it's some, something that you just, you want to do that you've never done before. Anything. So I want to have a cooking show. Okay. Okay. And so the next one, y'all going to see her cook. She going to teach me how to cook something because girl can get down. It's burnt under here. Can you see that? I hope it's right. But y'all know I like burnt stuff. So I think I should have put butter. I, yeah, I think I should have put butter on here first. Okay, but let's see. Well, it still look good. I gotta let that cool down. I ain't about to burn my roof for y'all. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I'm 
gonna eat the burnt part. Do y'all like burnt stuff? Mmm. But in this case, it's just burnt cheese. One say? I think we need to cook them up. Hmm. This, this work. Uh uh. <laughs> Wherever. What you mean? Wherever you want to grab from. Yeah, wait to cool down. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Is this Mm-hmm. You might want to eat. What? Is it good? Mm -hmm. It's good. I, it's it is, good. but I should have baked it. Or did what Ann said. You said use um. Okay, a little bit. What kind of milk? Whip it? No, that's that's not milk. It's just like if you're using um like a full fat cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Now we use like whole milk. Okay. It's good, y'all. So I burnt the bottom. But it's good. So we did it, Joe. Is it good for real? It is. I love okay. cheese. Yeah, I just it's some skin hanging from my roof because I just burnt myself. Did you burn yourself? Okay. Okay. Well, there you go. Bye. I hope you loved it. So what is this called? Pizza dip and sauce. Pizza dip. Okay, pizza dip. I just added sauce. Shout out to Cooking With Destiny. I tried it and I think I turned out well. If you see this video, tell me what you did different. I think we figured it out, which was you baked it. So I tried it. So now you got something to cook for. Super Bowl Sunday, Grammys, what else? Movie night, family night, game night. You got something. If you do Netflix and chill and you do it right, you say, you can do a different sauce. And the dipping sauce should be all gone because if it's still there, that means you're doing something you ain't had no business doing. <laughs> Y'all hang on in there. God bless you. Love you.